Oh, this review is gonna go places. All right, here's your review survival guide. This review comes to you in two parts. Part one. Yay! Part two. Not yay. That's becoming the status quo around here, ain't it? But alas, last scandal has got me feeling every damn happy feel and every damn mad feel. The thing kicks off the good with a pretty darn fun premise. And it's even unique to boot. Our female lead reunites with her first love while she's married to a butt-faced nerf herder. Life ain't treated our girl well. She's haggard by it. While on the opposite scale, Mr. Hero is suave, smexy, famous, and an actor who also happens to be a big jerkwad. That ain't fun. After her hub gets jailed, son he needs money. So she lands the maid job at the hero's house. That is emotastic trophy paradise. But that is also where the good cues the bad. Like always, Suckville pops off at episode 13. I don't know what it is about drama land wanting to make everything suck at episode 13. It's so irritating. But you know, until that point, everything was peachy keen. And I mean everything. For 780 minutes, Last Scandal was very heroin centric. Her personal growth, her iron will, her spine of steel. She's funny and emotionally engaging, likable and flawed and nuanced. And God damn it, why did it have to bomb? How did derail you ask? Well, funny, you should ponder that, because I'm going to tell you, good old girl that I am. <clears throat> it stopped being about the heroin. <sighs> The writers go to Sausage Town and suddenly it's all about the hero's company. And oh my god, yawn. You know that juicy internal conflict of Sun He coping with a shit hub? Yeah, that gets morphed into crap. Cause bam. We got external conflict out the ass with hero secrets and birth secrets that are super secretive. Oh my god, why are family secrets such a thing? Cause they're not a thing in the real world. Now, yes, admittedly, Sun He's plot wraps up with three hours left in the drama. So the writers thought, you know what, let's make it all about the hero and his sob fest. Damn you, writers. Yes, he's half the drama, but I don't care. I still noped out. Yep, that's right. I'm reviewing a drama that I haven't watched the last three episodes of. Trash. Right here. Trash. But I do not care, I do not care, I do not care, I regret nothing. Why I regret no things? Partly because of Mr. Cardboard Hero, and partly because of birth secrets. The uncle ain't the uncle, he's the hero's daddy, but the second female lead and his brother kept it from him. Because of course they did. And at that point, my ass just couldn't be bothered to give a damn. It was so awkward and forced, and I wasn't here for it. So I said, bye drama. But otherwise, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I love this drama. And by drama, I mean the heroine. I know, what a tonal shift. If I could marry fictional characters, I'd snatch that bitch up in a heartbeat. Watching her morph from shit on wife to a a gal that don't need no man in her life. Damn, it soothes my soul. Sun He truly evolves into such a competent, capable woman. Watching that go down over the story made me a slappy happy Jackie. Her spunk, her growth, her quiet strength while silently hurting. Oh my god, my heart. I don't know what I like the best. Her finally breaking away from her dick bag hub. Or hello, that emotional romantic tension as her being a married woman. Call me a sucker for forbidden love, but goddamn. <laughs> It's only acceptable in dramas when you know the hero's a dick. I just ah, so much yes until so much no. Don't worry, you ain't the only one that's startled by that sudden change up. My fangirl fields to rage face went so fast that I got emotional whiplash. Now had the drama made the hero more interesting, maybe I'd be in a different boat. Sure, he had love feels, but 99% of the time he was a giant jerk. I am so over giant jerks. So me caring about his hero daddy crap was not gonna happen. If he'd been a beta-tastic hero who broke his back with the weight of his hard eyes. If he'd been a damn decent human being who wasn't a self-centered asshat. Then 
adventure, yeah. Sign me on up for the hero backstory pain game. I would then glom that shiznit like it was crack on crackers. Especially those buttery crackers you get with salads. Ooh, I love those. But nope, nope, nope. None of that was a thing. He's just your standard issue drama land jerk. And what's worse is the drama became his when it never was. And I could not be bothered to give a damn or to like it or to finish it. So I did not watch the last three episodes of this boob punch. And you can't make me. I'm so sorry guys if this review was really shit. I'm off my game today, partly because I'm getting very discouraged of how many dramas I don't like. It's like I've watched all the good ones and there's nothing left. I used to fear that was gonna be a problem for romance novels, but these days it's the dramas. Romance novels give me all the good, but Asian dramas now are just... Maybe I just need to take a very hard break from Korea. Because that's the only common denominator among all of these reviews. To give you some perspective, the writing of this review might have been also shit because... I wrote this in January 2015. Don't worry, I rewrote it for this video, but still. That's how deep I'm having to go into my backlog. And everything that's left back there is the things I hated. Now I'm gonna go away and cope with the fact that I am absolute crap these days. <laughs> I'll be in the bathtub sobbing, guys.